the Duncan loop. There's times when I'm fishing that I don't want a knot that is going to be close up to the eye of the fly like this clinch knot right here. So one of the reasons is, is because of when I'm fishing larger flies, say streamers um, or leech patterns or big nymphs, a lot of times wh while I'm casting this knot right here because it's so tight on the eye of the fly, the knot itself will stay here but as we're casting right where the line right there, it will start to hinge back and forth. So it's kind of like a piece of uh, wire. The more times that you bend it back and forth, the weaker it gets. So also too, another reason, and probably more importantly, is that I want my fly to uh, present itself differently. So the only movement or articulation that we have from this fly is by the suppleness of our leader or our tippet. In other words, it doesn't dangle very much. So on nymph fishing, as it's coming through, I want it to look as natural as possible. So a Duncan loop is, or an open loop knot would be one of my choices. The Duncan loop. This knot is probably going to take a little practice to learn. yourself quite a bit of tippet or leader material. Run it through the eye of your fly. Bring both pieces together meaning the standing line and the tag. Our standing line and our tag are here. Take the tag end. I like to put the tag behind the standing line. And bring the two pieces together, making them parallel. Meaning the standing line and the tag line. At this point, this is where finger dexterity comes in real handy. Again, coming on the back side, both pieces are on the back. Pinch it off here and wrap five times, bringing it through the loop each time. There's one, two, three, four, and five. At this point, make sure that your hook is secure in your hand. The tag end is right here and standing line. Hang on to your standing line and your tag and your fly and just pull the tag end. To tighten your knot up, hang on to your fly and your tag. Standing line should be tense or tightened. Now at this point, just grab your tag and your fly and pull together. Give it a nice tight little pull. Don't be jerking your knots or anything because that cinches them down too tight. Your Duncan loop. Nice strong knot. Take and clip your tag end. I like to again leave a sixteenth of an inch or so so the knot has a chance to tighten up. Won't come undone. The reason I like this is because it gives that that nymph or that streamer a lot of nice articulation and movement in the natural flow of the water. The Duncan Loop. Another nice advantage of the Duncan Loop is especially when I'm fishing for bigger fish and on, on a tight line the fish often will hit so hard that they'll actually break my fly off if I'm using um, say a clench knot or an improved clench. So in your trialing or in your uh, Duncan loop, by determining how to size up your loop, you can set your loop, it slides. So what I'll do a lot is I'll leave a loop like such without the tag end, of course, I'll clip it off, but I'll leave an open loop like that. Now when my fish um, takes my fly as a shock absorber or a little bit of, it will just slide down to the knot. 
So another another nice thing about the Duncan loop. 